Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Because of the high voltage and high current used by microwave ovens, be aware that repairing this appliance poses a substantial risk for injury or death if precautions are not taken. You should always unplug the microwave before you attempt any disassembly. Since high voltage capacitors used in microwaves may retain a charge even after the microwave has been unplugged, we recommend that only experienced professionals access and replace internal components. To replace the high voltage capacitor, you will need to uninstall the appliance. Before you do this, remove the glass turntable and support. Have an assistant support the microwave while you remove the mounting bolts from the upper cabinet. Carefully tilt the microwave down and pull the power cord through the hole in the cabinet. Now, lift the microwave off of the mounting plate. Set the appliance down on its rear panel on a sturdy surface covered by a towel or blanket. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws, securing the oven's bottom panel. Open the turntable motor terminal cover and disconnect the wires. Unhook the wires from the retainer and disconnect the wire connector to fully detach the bottom panel. Return the microwave oven to its upright position and support it in the front. Open the door and unthread the three screws securing the top grill. Pull the grill down from the top to detach. Next, unthread all of the screws securing the rear of the cabinet. Unthread the screws to release the blower cover or air damper. Now unthread the remaining screws on top. Unthread the screw on the right side. You can now lift off the cabinet. You should release the potentially stored electrical charge in the capacitor to avoid injury. You can do this by placing a screwdriver with an insulated handle across each set of terminals. Be very careful not to touch the screwdriver blade when doing this. Note the orientation of the wires connected to the capacitor, then disconnect them. Use a short Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screw securing the capacitor mounting bracket.
Slide the bracket down to remove. Prepare the new high voltage capacitor for installation by transferring the mounting bracket from the old capacitor to the new one. Now insert the bracket tab into the slot in the frame and thread the screw. Connect the wires to the appropriate terminals. Reposition the cabinet. Thread the right side screw. Reposition the blower cover or air damper and secure it with the screws. Replace the remaining screws on top. Thread the screws to secure the rear of the cabinet. Before you reinstall the top grill, make sure the two support clips are in place. Now align the grill tabs with the slots in the frame and snap the grill into position. Rethread the three screws. Having a magnetized screwdriver will make it easier to rethread the screw on the right. Tip the appliance back. Replace the bottom panel by first connecting the wire connector and hooking the wires in the retainer. Connect the motor wires to the terminals, then align the terminal cover and snap it closed. Fully reposition the bottom panel and rethread the screws to secure. Now carefully reposition the microwave on the mounting plate by hooking the back edge of the appliance on the tabs. Insert the power cord through the hole in the upper cabinet. Lift the microwave up and secure the mounting bolts. Plug the power cord back in. Replace the turntable and support, and your microwave oven should be ready for use.